Barkley comes out of the Bronx, New York, and let's spend some time with him to meet this young man. training like that I wonder if all these moments is worth it you know am I gonna be someone but then again I think well I am gonna be someone I'm gonna be the best so this is why I'm doing it so I'm training hard sparring hard and punching hard and all I keep saying is I got to keep going it's something there for me and Barclays day begins at the first light of dawn he leaves the Bronx he travels to Central Park and it is there, in solitude, that he pushes himself on and on. When I'm out running and I'm dead tired, I feel that I've got to keep going because a quitter will never be the champion. So I push myself on and on and on. Aaron Barkley has grown up in the heart of the South Bronx of New York City. He knows full well boxing is a way to something better. When I'm running through my neighborhood in the Bronx, there's a lot of burned out buildings and cars. I feel that I have to make the best of it because my goal is one day I am going to get out. When I run past Yankee Stadium, I'm proud because I live around the area and I run there and I do most of my road work there. Every day I pass that place, I feel that I am going to be a champion. If it takes more training, I'll do more training. If it takes more hard work, I'll do more hard work. His opponent, Iran Barkley, out of the Bronx. He beat an East German earlier this year. Tonight, he has another big opportunity in international competition, and he goes against Marjan Markovsky, a 23-year-old college student who has 22 knockouts over the last three years of competition. So Markovsky is well-seasoned, well-traveled. Barkley, tall and rangy, good foot speed, and he is particularly effective with the left hook. And he is able to generate a great deal of leverage. You can see there the leverage that he brings with that left hook. The United States team leading by a score of 6-2. to two. And a win here would lock up their first win ever over the Yugoslav. They have a draw in four previous dual meets. That's all. Never beaten them. Now they have that opportunity, and Barkley is the man. If he can win it, then he will lock it. You have a Yugoslav referee. Remember, you have an equal judge here. You have a Yugoslav judge, an American judge. And uh, Bert Lowe's out of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Tony Filippelli is the American judge. <laughs> Barkley is age 21. He's been in boxing four years. Good left hand by Barkley. Another left hand and down goes. Markovsky from a left and a right. It was a short right that appeared to put him down. So a standing eight count, and he's got a cut in the corner, right corner of his mouth. It looks like the lip may be split a little bit. So Barkley puts him down here in round number one. And Markovsky comes out slowly, and Barkley storms after him and pounds him on the rope, going well to the body. That was a wicked left hook he put to the body. Markovsky backing up, takes a combination to the head. He's in trouble. Iran Barkley trying to measure him, trying to get him early. Most of Markovsky's effort there wasted on the gloves and the movement of Barkley. Barkley taking his time, not wasting energy, looking for the opportunities. He's finding them. He's got him in the ropes. The referee stopping the contest, I think. Nope. No, he cautions Barkley about using the, the palm of the glove where the laces are located. That's dangerous. Good right hand by Markovsky. That shook Barkley. I thought for a moment the referee was going to step in and stop it as Barkley was pounding him on the rope. The right hand just misses as Barkley was retreating. Oh, 
closing seconds of the first round. Markuski trying to hang on. A goodly amount of blood now coming from that cut lip. Markuski trying to weather the storm. A left hook. Down he goes. Hanging on to the ropes at 16 seconds to go in the first round. The eight count by the Yugoslav referee. It's over. He has stopped it. He has stopped the fight, and the United States team has win ever over a Yugoslavian team. And Iran Barkley was devastating. Look at the leverage. It wasn't much there. That was a wild swing, but here's the left hand. How down he went. I just saw a hungry boxer go out there and win himself a fight. Well, I'm very hungry. I had to be. It's something I wanted real bad. And I went out there and took care of it. That's what I wanted. Iran, you got tremendous leverage on some of the blows. I thought that first combination very early in the round, you probably really stung him then. Well, I felt I stung him, and I knew I had him then. But once he fell, I knew I had to go to work from there because I knew I hurt him. So the thing was, he had a nice heart, right hand, a little wild, but it was strong. And I figured, if I get careless and he catch me, that's going to be it. So I had to think, move, and set him up again. Congratulations.